Hey, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about the Lip Monthly subscription. I subscribed to Lip Monthly for six months and I thought it would be kind of fun to swatch that out and kind of talk about what I accumulated over those six months. Want to see? Sit back. Take a break. <laughs> Lip Monthly is a monthly subscription of full-size lip products. You're supposed to get four to five products every month. It is $12.99 or $12.95, somewhere right in there. Free shipping, but I do believe there's tax on it. Um, I pay for six months at a time. If you pay for, like, more months at a time like that, I think you save a little bit of money. Like, I want to say six months is, like, $71 or something like that. I pulled all of the products that I could find. I'm missing maybe like three. I don't think there was a single month that I got more than four products. So let's kind of get into this. We'll talk about them a little bit. We'll swatch them and we'll see what we look like when we're done. So it does come in a little bag every month. I don't have all of them here, but kind of just like canvasy, thin. Do you have little zippers? They're okay, but how many little bags do you really need? This one's more like vinyl-y material. It's a little different, but it does come in a little bag every month. I will talk about the one product that was not like a lipstick, lip balm type thing, and these are South Main Lip Gels. These are okay. I don't notice a huge difference with using like a lip gel. This is like the lip-shaped little lip mask thing, um, but they're okay. They're fun to play with, fun to use. You did get three of them, if I remember right, in that month, and I've used two of them, so I just have this one left, but they're okay, it was, they're fun, just not a huge thing for me. I do believe I'm missing one of the chapsticks, I know I gave a gloss, a gloss away, but we have a couple of lip balms here, this mint one my son decided to play with, so it has seen better days. But I actually really enjoy this one. I like the minty smell. I'm not going to swatch these because they don't have any color to them. And this Lasting Smiles Organic one, I have, I just got this one, so I haven't really used it a whole lot yet. But you can always use chapstick, lip balm, throw them in your purse. I lose them constantly. So those are fun to get. I know there was one, and it might be in my purse right now, that had a tint of color to it. Like, similar to... Oh, nope, I thought that was one of them. It just has a, some, a light tint of color, and I do enjoy that one. I think it might be in my purse right now. I think I might have stole one out of the basket. Um, we also have from Manic Dar the Miracle Balm Step 3. I think it's weird that this sounds like it's a multi-step thing, and you just get one step of it. This, I don't know what I think about this. It doesn't, it's real like milky kind of consistency. It doesn't really have much of a smell. And it's really like greasy. So I have used this a few times at night and I do feel like it's definitely hydrating. So I don't hate it, it's just a little bit weird. Like look how shiny my hand is now. Alright, so in my sixth month time of having Lip Monthly, I'm trying to reach in my basket here, I got three lip liners. So I'm not a huge lip liner person, but I have tried these. We have from Pierce Professional Smear Proof Liner in Gypsy. There's that one. We have IBY Beauty, this one is in the shade Blush, <clears throat> there's that one. Then we also have from, is it Sir May, Treatment Cosmetics Smear Proof Liner in the shade Decaf 12. So there are the three lip liners, that's the Decaf 12 one. They're okay colors. We also got um, 
This is a lip and cheek crayon from Lord and Barry, and this one is in the shade Rose. I actually like this quite a bit. I have one from Ipsy. Just an easy thing for me to wear. I do enjoy the color of that one. And these go on pretty smoothly. So this is a product that I've used quite a bit. I mean, I've sharpened it down. I can't remember how tall it was. Probably closer to the top of the lid here. This is what I a newer one that I just got in my last box, which was April's box. I had to think what month we're in now. This is Kiss Proof Lip Cream from Bella Pierre in the shade Coral Stone. The color is pretty. I hate the smell of these. It's almost like sweet chemicals. I don't know. They kind of make my stomach turn a little bit. I have a couple other Bella Pierre products. And I think they all smell similar. But this also is so dry feeling. Like, so dry. Like, I can't stand it. I can't stand the smell. I just don't like this. Alright, from Cougar, which is, I've never heard of that. There's, like, no information on this tube other than the word Cougar and how many ounces it is. We have this nice bright red. Why did I think this was pink? I thought this was pink. So, just not a shade that I'm super into. If this form, when I put that on my hand, I think I wore this one time. It is a very, not creamy, but almost like oily a little bit. It is moisturizing feeling, but I feel like for me, I will get it everywhere. I'm not good with stuff like that. I'm, and I'm constantly drinking water. I just don't, I don't, no. So next up from Bang Beauty, we have their Kiss Me, their Lip Crayon and Kiss Me. I smashed this one. I was kind of excited. I was like, yay, this will be a great spring color. It's pretty, right? No. Mm-mm. Wish I could show you. I wonder what would happen if I put it over top of this. Okay. So you can kind of see it. Like, it is so, like, weirdly patchy, kind of. Like, it's. I know I have a darker lipstick underneath of it, but. I don't know. I feel like it comes off lighter here than it does when I swatch it. And this is one that maybe I just need to give more of a chance to because looking at it there, I don't hate it. I just, every time I've tried to put it on, I've been like, ah! just being honest. Right, next up, also from Bang Beauty, we have a belly slipper lip gloss. I like lip gloss. I really do. But that is almost like the color of my skin. And it looks really funny. I wish I could swatch more of these without making a mess of myself. Let's try See, this is one that, like right now, I have color on my lips from the other lipstick I was wearing, and this doesn't look that bad. And this is surprisingly not sticky, it's comfortable. So for me, this would be wearable. I just don't think to grab it because I don't layer stuff a ton on my lips. From Bella Pierre, we have the Nude Mineral Lipstick. 
That's the shade. It's the mineral lipstick in the shade Nude. So. That looks like I don't hate the color of that one. If I remember right though, let's try it. We're going to be a mess. I want to say it's this one that... No, this one feels okay. There's one, like, cream lipstick like this that feels really dry, but it's not this one. So that's the color. I don't hate this one. This is a good one. We have from Hikari the Stiletto Iridescent Lip Gloss. So Iridescent Lip Gloss in the shade Stiletto. So it's kind of cool. It's got this shift to it. And I don't need all, like, pinky peachy nudes or anything like that, but that's a little. It's crazy, right? gold. Just don't know if that's right for my skin. But, I mean those are my initial thoughts, but I will show you because I have been wearing this a little bit. Over top of something else, it's actually really pretty. So what I had it at the beginning of the video, and maybe I should have, point, should have pointed it out then, is this Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the Easy Cell. Is the shade on that. And this is a color that I really, really enjoy. It's that one there. The formula is a little dry. And I'm... I think it's just personal preference when it comes to that. I'm not a huge matte liquid lipstick kind of person, but I do wear that from time to time and it lasts pretty well. It does look a little bit dry after it's been on for a while and I've eaten and stuff. I do kind of notice it gets a little crumbly, but I don't hate that either. So, all right, we are getting down here. So from Hikari, we got Lipstick and Crush. This is kind of a joke. I had originally thrown this in the giveaway, but I was just like, I don't want to give away things I don't want. I want to give away things that I'm excited to give away. So, and I also wanted to pull it out for this video because that is crazy. And I am really probably not ever going to wear that, to be honest with you. As a joke, maybe? I guess I don't have a lot of, of that color in my collection, so maybe it's nice to have, but yeah. This one I was actually really excited about. This is Dirty Little Secrets Cream Lipstick in the shade Barely There. And I love the color. Love, love, love it. I just, let's see if I can show you. None of these are going to be super true to color because I'm kind of piling them on. Can you see? I'm going to zoom you in. I know that... I have all the other stuff piled on underneath of this, but look how cracky, like crepey my lips look. I don't like that. So this is not my favorite formula. I have a lip gloss from them that I really enjoy, but this not so much. I just don't like <sighs> Got lipstick on my teeth now. How like patchy, creepy it mm -mm. maybe if you build it up more, but I don't want to wear that on lipstick because it'll end up flaking on me and just not my thing. So, from Doucet, we have their Winter Berry Relentless Matte Lip Crayon. So, I put it right there. This would be a nice winter shade, kind of how it indicates. I've not used this one a ton, and again, I'm just not super into matte lips, and this is kind of dry on the lips. It's just not my favorite thing. From Be A Bombshell, we got the 
What the Fuchsia Lip Crayon. Yeah, What the Fuchsia is right. I just, again, it's another super like magenta e pink. Not my thing. I don't think I've worn this, so I can't really speak to the formula of it, but. <clears throat> From Le Ritzy Cosmetics, we got the Lipsticks Crayon in Gala. And again, this would be another nice, like, wintry berry shade. I have worn this one, I think, like, once, and the hard time with darker colors like this, I feel like I just get them everywhere. But it's okay. It's just okay. It's not something I would, like, reach for a ton. And last but not least, I actually really enjoy this. I enjoy the packaging. I think I got this in one of my first ever lip monthlies. And I've never seen this anywhere. This is from Mirabella. This is the color vinyl lipstick in caramel cream. The formula of this, it, it I like the way it feels. It is not super long lasting by any means, but I love the color. It's a typical cream lipstick and it's got a little bit of shine to it. So I really, really enjoy that. So that is all the products that I've gotten from Lip Monthly minus just a couple over the last six months and what they look like all swatched out. For me, I would prefer more colors like this and there's not a lot of that in here. They're more berry pinks. So it's just not my thing. I've had fun trying it. And you know, looking in there right now, this lip color, I think it looks good on me. But when I go like to the bathroom and look in like regular lighting mirror, it's just not super flattering with how crocky, crusty, crepey my lips look. So have you ever gotten Lip Monthly? Do you feel like it was useful? Because that's my biggest thing. Like, I use a few of these, but I need more of it to be useful for me, I think. And it's probably just more so comes down to what your lipstick preferences are, because I don't think a lot of these are super bad. It's just not my color, and I'm not super into matte. So... That is my thoughts on Lit Monthly for six months. I would love to hear any of your thoughts about it down below. And I hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. We do a lot of makeup related subscription box videos. And we love meeting new people. We would love for you to join us. And I hope you have a super great day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.